This is going to be a quick video on signing up for a PBWorks account and for using the PBWorks account. So go to pbworks.com and just click on the get started with a free version of PB, PBWorks. Click on the K-12 education link and then click on the basic free option and fill in a name. This name has to be unique so you know make up whatever you want. could be your name uh, with something like CIS 122 or something along those lines. Tick the checkbox, put in your name, um, put in your email address, probably your COCC email address would be the best for this. Um, put in a password, Confirm your password, hit next, and then they're going to send you something to your mailbox and you need to uh, check your email box and then uh, hit that confirmation link. If you already have a PBWorks account, then you can just log in, of course, on their main page with the login button. And let's see if I can get logged in here. And I've got all these different uh, PBWorks accounts, so I'm just going to have to bear with me here for a minute. I think I just want the regular PBWorks here. Now I've noticed that sometimes uh, logging in seems to be a little bit of a delay. I'm not sure what that's about. So now I've logged in, but I haven't actually gotten into one of my pages yet. As you can see here, I've got access to all kinds of different PBWorks accounts from lots and lots of people. So I'm going to scroll down and find my PBWorks account so I can log in and do a little dog and pony show. So here I found my PBWorks account for the CIS 122 page. So as you can see, I've edited this um, just last term, or actually it looks like winter term. And so I'm just going to do a little quick uh, show and tell here. The basic idea here is, is that it's basically a wiki and you can edit the pages and put text and pictures and so on on the pages. So here, if you click the wiki button, it just takes you to your home page. Um, there is a settings button here and you can explore these options uh, at your will. Let me just change that. CIS 122 and CICC there. Caps. Um, so that's the base time and so on and so forth. You've got a variety of different options here and then I'm just going to hit the save button. And then I'm going to go back, click on the wiki button again, and I'm back on my home page. First things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to invite me to your wiki. So you'll notice over here on the top right there, there is a link for inviting people. So click the invite more button and you can just type in my email address, pkc at coc.edu. Make sure that you add me as an editor on the site and then click the add users button and it'll send me an email invite invite me the next thing I want to just show you is how you can make changes to your pages the first page of course you want to clean that up and make it your own personal page so I'm going to uh, hit the edit button right here and that takes you into just a pretty typical text edit mode as you can see here so I could change this, edit that, and then once you make your editing changes, you hit the save button. And that's all there is to editing it. Now let me show you how I could get an image in here. Several ways to get an image, but for starters I'm just going to go find a, see if I can find a vb.net image. And that's probably going to take me to some web page I didn't want, so I'm going to 
go to google.com and search for vb.net. And then I hit the images button. And there's a good one right there. A nice, great, big, giant vb.net image. Now, a couple ways to do it um, is one way to do this, of course, is to just link to this image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the image and have it stored locally. So I'm going to say um, save that image. And I'll just, let's say, save it to my desktop. And so it's saved on my desktop. So now that image is saved on my computer's desktop. I'll go back to my PBWorks page. And I want to be able to put this image here in my page. So several ways to do that. But you'll notice there is this link up here that says Upload Files. So I can go ahead and upload a file. And I've got that vb.net image right there. And I'll just go ahead and upload that. And now that file has been uploaded into my storage area. And it shows that it's uploaded. I can click that and it'll show me there's the image. And so I just want to go back to my home page. And I'm going to edit my home page. So I hit the edit button. And I could click and add it right here. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm in the edit page here. And right over here, notice it says insert links. Insert links to other pages or uploaded files. And then there's a little tab here called images and files. So I'll click that images and files. And there's my VB image that I just uploaded. I'll click that and there it is. Um, I can resize that, make that a little smaller. So there's my image and then I can hit the save button and it's saved. So essentially any image that you have access to on your computer you can just upload it and then edit a page and add the image. Now the next thing I want to show you is just how I can add another page. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to edit my front page here again. And let's say I want to add another introduction. So I'll say introduction two. So there's the text. I'm going to I'm going to highlight that text introduction two, and I'm going to click the add link button here in the toolbar. So I'll click that. And it says enter part of a page name, web drive, desk, or file. So I'm, I'm good to go. I'm just going to hit enter. And it now says open page introduction to. Now, the problem that people have there is that if you hit the open page right there, well, we haven't saved the current page we're on yet. And so we'd lose these changes. So a couple things you can do is you can just hit save. Or you can hit save and continue. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and watch it. Well, you can see what happens. So I'll hit save. And it's saved my page. It's got my new graphic on there. It's got my new text on here for introduction to. And notice how that's a link. And so I'll go ahead and click that. And it comes up and it says, name your page. And it's saying, create a new page. Well, it's because I said I wanted a new page. Now it's actually going to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the create page button. And there I am in the edit window there. And this is my second introduction. So on and so on. And you can also, of course, play around with your fonts and different things like that. So I could say, well, let's make that bold. And maybe, uh, well, we could make it a heading two or whatever. Um, if I want to. I can also say um, make a link that goes back to the home page. So I could say jump to home and uh, highlight that text, hit the add link button, and say enter part of a page name, address, or file. Then you can say browse your pages and files. Because I know I have a home page, so I ought to be able to find that, right, if I browse my pages and files. So I'll click that, and here, here are all my pages. So let's just kind of scroll down and see if we can find something that looks like a home page. Uh, oh, front page. That sounds kind of reasonable. So we click on that link. So you insert that link. And hit the Save button. And now I've just created this new introduction page. And let's see if the Jump to Home page works. You don't have to put this kind of link on here. I mean, I can always hit the Wiki button up here at the top and take me back to my home page. So I'll just go ahead and hit that. 
and see what happened. So jump to home and then I'm back on my home page. So that was pretty easy. So you need to think about how you're going to organize your, your, your little wiki page here or your little website. Um, you'll notice that uh, you could just put links to week one, two, three work and so on and so forth. Um, I click on week one here and it takes me to a uh, page that shows a sample problem. Here's a little piece of code. Here's a snapshot of that window um, with that program running. Here's a little link to the video. Let's see what happens when I click that link to the video. That goes out to screencast.com and lets me play the video. And so click the button. It says hello world. And that's kind of cool. So that's kind of what you're going to do with a bunch of your first programs. Um, I hit the wiki button to go back to my home page. And there we are. So this is a quick tour of PBWorks. Uh, I think you can figure out a lot more about it if you wish. Um, there's plenty of help out there. Uh, so I encourage you to explore around. Uh, remember, don't forget to invite me and make sure I'm an editor on your page so that I can go ahead and make comments on your pages if necessary. All right. And that's it for now.